welcome to my studio subscribe and press the bell icon for more such videos hello everyone welcome back to my studios so from today we'll be starting with a new series which is the animation series in flutter so here we will basically be doing animations in flutter using two paths using two different methods so one will be writing code directly in flutter itself and the second one will be using flare animations so to use a flare animation you need to go to rive.app and here you can create new flare animations flare animations are basically 2d animations which work at run at 60 frames per second so they are very smooth and you can create very complex kind of animations very easily and these kind these animations can be easily imported to your flutter app which so today we'll be just going through the basics of how to create a simple flare animation and import it to your app from the next videos we'll go we'll start covering more and more complex stuff so here as you can see you can create a lot of different kind of animations using flare these all you can create using flare and you can use it directly in your flutter app so here you need to create you need to go to rive.app website and create a new account after you create your account you need to register sign in so after sign in this is the page that will show up now you need to create a new file so we will be creating a flare file let's see so as you can see here you can see there are two sections one is design and one is animate so the design section consists of all the components that you have included so here this is the main component that is the artboard where you will be importing or including all the components so here is assets if you want to import any svgs file and all you can import it directly here and in the animate section you can create the animations so as you can see here you can create different name of animations i'll tell you why naming an animation is important so let's start by importing some simple component let's say we'll import a rectangle and let's give it so here when you click here you can set different values for these components so let's give it a height of 500 to 100 which is okay for us or oh, let's increase it to 200 and let's make this as 600 and let's import one more rectangle or and we'll add it here only okay So let's center align these so you can click align center and align center here also and also this one also will align it in the center and we'll move this one above oh, wait we need to move this thing down what's happening this needs to be yeah that's okay now let's start with animating these objects so we'll go to animate so the first animation we'll do is let's hide this one for now so here we'll start by making this rectangle as a circle so let's say after two seconds initially we'll be setting the height and width is that only but let's say after two seconds we want the width of the rectangle to be 200 only and plus we'll make the corner radius of this thing also as 200 and initially the corner radius of this one will be zero so this is or a small animation where you can see it becomes a circle we can just move it a little bit back so that the speed is increased now as you can see this becomes like this this is a small animation now for the other rectangle that we had let's just show it now so initially let's keep so what should we do this, this rectangle we can make it rotate or something 
so initially let's have the opacity of this is 0 so after let's say when the circle is almost of this size we'll make it show up Uh, let's make it just after 10 seconds or something we'll start increasing the opacity we can make it 1 itself so here it was 0 this one it should be 0 and this one it's 1 let's move it a bit Agi. and with that let's also include rotation for this one so here when it's showing up we can, the real angle is 0 and we'll include the angle and by the time it's fully shows up we can move it from this to let's say 45 degree then till here we can sh move it to 135 degree and then again to 90 and then from here let's say we move it till here and here we'll make the angle again 0 plus we'll make the opacity again as 0 and by this time will increase the width of circle also to 600 again and the corner radius is 0 again so let's play this animation it becomes a small yeah it's a small animation but yeah it gets the work done so let's set the time of the animation to 2 3 3 seconds yeah and let's give it a name of trial so now you need after the animation is done and everything you need to import or we'll do one more thing I won't be going into depth right now but we can also change the interpolation for this one so let's set it for cubic for now you can also play with these kind of stuff so I'm setting it for everything so I won't be playing that much but as you can see you get a cute or something out of an animation so now you can download this animation so you need to export it so you need to export it in binary format Uh, let's export it to desktop itself and call it flare animation so now you can import this animation I've already created a new flutter project so here in your flutter project you need to create a new folder called the assets and under assets you can move this file let's okay let's go to desktop and import this file to our assets folder as you can see the file is imported here now you need to go to a popspec.yml file and you need to include this file here so here we'll just we'll uncomment this line and here we'll just write assets and our file name is player animation player animation dot flr so this is included now we'll do just packages dot get now to use player animations in your flutter project you need to import one library for that you need to go to your google or something and just search for flare, flare animations 
Flutter and you need to import this Flare Flutter library. So just go to installing, copy this one and paste it in your pubspec YAML file itself and do, do packages.get packages get so now the name pack library is imported and can start with an animation so here let's say my home page itself in body we don't need a, a bar right now so here in the body now here let's replace the body with flare actor so we'll save flare actor so here the first parameter that you need to give is the file name so a file is under assets folder and it's named as flare animation dot flr now here the second parameter that you can give is you can set the fit to fox box fit dot contain so that it doesn't go out of bounds now you can also align it in the center so we can do alignment dot center and that's it and here yeah, so you also need to give the name of the animation so we so let's go and we gave it a name of trial so you give the name of animation as trial and let's run it Let's wait for the app to run and as you can see the app is up and running and our animation works now we can also set the color of this animation because it's an SVG file so we can set the color to let's say colors dot green and run it again and as you can see the animation is up and running and it's very smooth